The Senate. The Senate. The bill will be introduced by a senator formally recognized for the purpose. A measure is given a number, retwisted, and then referred to the standing committee, where it is a deal with much as a are bills in the house. And we are good to go. This guy, Senator Huey Long, stand and spoke for fifteen hours straight. He went over his secret recipe of cornbread, pot liquor, salad, and it all started with a telephone directory. And this is a tactic called Philippus Plan, which stands for talk to death. And this is the rule of the debate in the Senate, which is no rule. Talk whatever you want. The only exception is the cloture rule. Rule twenty two says that when the rule starts applying, the debate can last no longer than thirty hours, and that requires at least sixty senators to vote for the rule. However, there are calendars in the House. It separates different kind of bills to give selections of requests. The majority and the minority four leaders give in advance how they will split the time to be spent on a bill. This saves time for the whole process. There are five calendars in the lower house: the union calendar, the house calendar, the private calendar, the corrections calendar, and the discharge calendar. Under the rules of the house, different bills are scheduled into specific appropriate calendar. The house keep everything in a fast pace so that they can read everything in general for at least once. There is a five minute rule that each amendment have just the right amount of time for the supporters and the opponents to make their cases. To make sure the quality of the selections, there are the second and the third readings before the document being sent to the Senate. Conference committees. What is the role of a conference committee? When House and Senate don't agree with each other's bill, a conference committee is held to solve the conflict. The purpose of conference committee is to create a bill that both sides agree with. There is a conference manager chosen to make changes to the bill. After the final version of the bill is done. The conference manager will report the bill to each houses, for them to decide whether they are gonna accept or not. And now let's take a look at the President Act. The Constitution requires that bills be sent to the President after they have passed both houses of Congress, which are the Legislature and the House. And now let's take a look at the four options for the president. First of all, the president signs the bill, and the bill becomes law. Secondly, the president can veto the bill, which he refuses to sign the bill, and the bill will be returned to the houses. However, Congress may pass the bill over the veto by two-thirds vote of the full membership of each house. Thirdly, the president may allow the bill to become law without signing it, by not acting it within ten days, and it's not include Sunday. The last option is the pocket veto. If Congress ends the session for ten days without submitting a bill to the president, and the president does not act, then the bill dies.